Hey guys. Um, I think I'm just gonna have a little mukbang update video. Um, there's a lot been going on that I haven't got to share with you guys. Um, I'm not fasting today. Um, I'm having a comfort food day. Um, and uh, it's because, well, it's just that kind of day. Um, I was at the hospital all night last night. Well, pretty late till almost 11. Um, my best friend since I was 10 years old is losing her mom. And her mom has been like a second mom to me since I was 10. Um, we did everything together. We grew up together. Um, we've spent enormous amounts of time at each other's houses. Our moms are friends. Um, they were. Um, she grew up in my house. I grew up in hers. We were, we, we had slumber parties together. We played softball together. We were cheerleaders together. Um, we learned how to drive together. We were there at each other's weddings. We were there when our children were born. We were there during our divorces. We were, there's nothing that we haven't been there for each other in our whole lives. And now we have to watch her mom slip away. And it sucks, it just sucks. It sucks, and um, although it's hard watching her slip away, it's her time, but what's even harder is um, watching my best friend lose her mom. Um, sorry, my other phone's going off. So, that's, um, that's one thing that's going on. Um, so, we're all a little tired, um, a little emotionally distraught, and um, she's not eating too much right now because, you know, who wants to eat when you're watching your mom slip away? So, I'm eating for both of us. <laughs> um, I didn't used to be the kind of girl who ate for comfort, but I think I am now. <laughs> If I'm real sad, I won't eat, but um, I just feel like I want some comfort food. So, this morning I went to McDonald's and I got an Egg White Delight and a Hash Brown and a Sprite and I ate it. And that was around 9 and now it's 12.30 and I um, wanted to eat again. And um, so I went to Whole Foods and got um, some Brussels sprouts, a little bit of mac and cheese, some broccoli, some pork, and it looks like some kind of shepherd's pie. So there's a bunch of veggies in there, but there's a little mac and cheese too, because mac and cheese does the body good when you're when you're sad. So um, that's what's going on with that. And um, uh, on another note. I, uh, so if you guys don't mind, I'm not going to use names, but, um, she's been my best friend since I was 10 and, um, just up a prayer for comfort if you don't mind would be great. God knows who she is and what's going on, but we can take comfort in knowing that her mom knows the Lord. Her, we know where she's going. We know where she's going. And, um, so thank God for that. Um. On another note, um, I pulled Wyatt out of public school. Wait one second, sorry. Um, I pulled him out for many reasons. Um, one of the reasons, yes, is all the school shootings and all the chaos and all the bullying and all of the immoral sadness going on in the public schools. Um, Wyatt was not being bullied. Um, he was doing great, making all A's and B's, um, but um, we found out that he could go to school online um, and he can get his high school diploma a lot faster and he'll be done by next Christmas. And he'll be at home where he's safe and um, away from all the public school drama. Um, there's been, just here in Tulsa alone, um, one of the kids that he went to school with jumped off the high school stadium and killed himself. Um, at another school, um, 
I'm having a hard time thinking straight. At another school, another local Tulsa public school teacher threw a desk at a student because he was pushed to his limits. Um, at that same school, a couple of kids sexually assaulted the janitor. Um, at another one of our school districts, um, the superintendent resigned because some really horrific things happened at his house that I'm not going to get into. And my stepkids go to that school. And I'm telling you, we have kicked God out of the public school system and the enemy is taken over. And I am just, you know, my sister has always homeschooled her three boys. And when she first started, I wasn't really on board with it, but I get it. I get it. And thank God Alex is, um, you know, he's 23. He's, we're done with his schooling. Um, Wyatt is a junior and has a senior year left. And I am just really grateful that we found an online school that he can go to. And I don't have to worry about any of that. Um, that's part of it. Um, the other part is that he can get done quicker and he's ready to be done with it because he's already older than everybody else because his birthday is in November. And, um, so he's already almost a year older than everybody else. And then I had to hold him back in second grade. So that makes him, or first grade, and that makes him, I mean, he's going to be 19 when he graduates. And he's like, mom, I'm just over it. I just want to get through it. And so we put him in this online school and he'll get his high school diploma. And I'm just really, really grateful that um, I'm in a position where I can do that with my child. So there's that. This is a sad vlog and I'm sorry. It just is. It's just a, it's just a sad video and that's just how it has to be. Also, my own mom, my own mom had to get a balloon put in one of her arteries in her leg last week. And then she goes in next week to get another balloon put in her other leg. And her vessels around her heart are also not strong. And so they were talking about putting stents in, in the veins around her heart, but they're not, they don't need to do that yet. Thank God. So if you don't mind praying for my mom and um, so there's that. Anyway, there's a lot going on right now. And um, Gina Pearson has um, a collab that she's doing about purging and cleaning and getting rid of things, I think. She left me a comment on my last video asking me if I wanted to be part of that. And Gina, I would love to, but I just, I can't focus on that right now. I can't, I can't dedicate time to making sure videos are up. I can't. If I didn't have so much going on, I would be all about it. Because let me tell you what, I love to purge. And I would love to get rid of some stuff. So, when things settle down in my life and you guys do that again, I would love to be part of it. But, I don't want to... I don't want to commit to something that I might not be able to follow through on. So, some broccoli. Or, I mean, cauliflower. It's all seasoned up, so it looks like broccoli. It's got nutmeg on it. Okay. I can taste nutmeg on that. Not my first choice, but not bad. It's healthy. It's broccoli or cauliflower. I can eat roasted vegetables all day and that's comfort food to me. Especially these Brussels sprouts. I know they look burnt, but they're not. At least they don't taste burnt. They might be, but they're good. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think that one was quite cooked all the way through. <laughs> it's a little crunchy. Um, I think that's all I got going on. 
Alex, my oldest son, is going to be moving out before too long. And, um, Riley and Dalton are doing good. Me and my husband are great. So, that's really all the update I got. And I didn't mean to get on here and bring you guys down. If I did, I apologize. But this is real life and this is what's happening. And I know that um, a lot of you are prayer warriors out there. So, I'm going to ask for prayer for comfort for my best friend and her mom and her family and her sister and, and all of us. And prayers for my mom and her healing and you know, prayers for these families who lost their kids in Florida and all the other insane school shootings. I can't even wrap my mind around it. You just go to school one day and you, then you don't come home. I mean, what a, a parent's worst nightmare. So I am, I am grateful that I was able to pull my son out. Um, and, and he was in a good school, but that's too much. So it was a good decision for us. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here because this is, you know, it's just sad. <laughs> so, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me. I love you so much. The Lord loves you. He loves you so much. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He loves you so much and so big and so unconditionally and forever. And nothing can separate you from that love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.